What's going on? Today, I'm going to show you how you can scratch any sample right inside of Big Wit Studio using a VST called Scratch Track by Stagecraft. Okay, let's get to it. So, my setup is I have a DJ controller, it's a Pioneer DDJ SB. And what we're going to do is we're going to load SC Scratch Track. New track, I'm going to add. I'm gonna type in SC Scratch right here. So this is the SC Scratch Track VST, which allows you to load in a sample and scratch it using your DJ controller. So you have your different slots for your uh, samples that you can load in. So if you wanted to load a sample, just click into that folder on a box and then you can load in your different samples. These are the samples that come with the VSTs. Okay, so let's talk about setup. So <clears throat> everything is pretty simple. You could do like a MIDI learn. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a MIDI learn, add MIDI trigger. I already did this. So if you look, look here, I got my crossfader, this map. Honestly, the only thing I feel that I would need is just the crossfader and then the, the platter. So for this DJ controller, what you want to do is go to MIDI and you want to go to position and map the controls that way. That's what worked for me. So what I'm going to do is if I want to map the controls, I'm going to hit the learn button and then just touch my MIDI controller, DJ controller. So watch, for touch, hit learn, and I'm just going to tap. So see, see how I hit, tap the, uh, the platter and the touch button light up, so that confirms that you're, you're mapped. Now, to map the tick forward and back, what you have to do, you have to hold the platter first, hit the learn, and move forward. So I'm going to move forward as I hit the, the learn button. So it's, it's mapped. So the four is mapped. Okay. And now I'm going to do the same using the tick back. So I'm going to be pulling back as I hit the learn. So now you can see that the tick four in the back is lighting up as you're moving. And this right here confirms that you're you're moving back and forth. Okay. So now we're going to go back and let's load a sample. Here we go, fresh. Pretty cool, right? So I'm just going to play around with the beat. So let's see what we got here. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. When you're mapping your controls, there's a friction and a sensitivity uh, controls here. So uh, let me show you how that works. So let's load in the sample, fresh. Friction just, uh, So one way to look at it is if you want to do like a really big spin back, you want to take the friction all the way down. And you can just do like a big spin back. Or you bring it all the way up. It has like no, it has no type of play. Like it, as soon as you release it, continues to go forward. But you might want to have like a happy medium. Sensitivity is, it's kind of, you can adjust the, the 
the way that the sample travels. So if you bring it all the way down, you have to spin the job wheel back. Like, you see how I'm doing? Yeah, so you want to kind of adjust the controls that work best with your controller. There's another cool thing about this uh, VST. You can actually scratch live incoming signal. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to scratch this beat. All right. So what you have to do, you have to do like a side audio side chain. So uh, you click this button right here. And your input is going to be track audio to pre and what it's going to do is going to capture this track right here so i'm going to play i'm going to mute it first so you see how this clip actually played on this uh scratch track vst so check it out Now, if you notice, while I was scratching the live beat, it tends to jump around. I think that is because it has like a, a short buffer, so you can scratch. So my workaround is, if I really wanted to have a longer time to play around with the sample, I kind of tune it down a bit. So let's see what it does now. Let's see. You notice how I didn't jump back into place it's because I kind of slowed down a sample like it I think it gave me more room or a buffer to play around with the sample all right so that was my overview on how to scratch samples right inside the bit with studio using scratch track VST I have the link to scratch track in my description I encourage you to try it out they have a 30-day free trial it's a pretty in my opinion it's pretty dope VST. Uh, let me know if you found this video helpful. Let me know what you like about this video in the comments. Let me know what you didn't like about this video in the comments. And let me know what other type of videos you're interested in watching. All right. Until next time. Peace.